everyone, my name is Ori Zik and I'm the CEO of Acunogy. I'm going to talk to you about how decarbonization is transforming remote power and how Acunogy is playing a key role in this transformation. So imagine that you run a well pad, you need electricity for your automation, SCADA, digitization and other needs. Uh, until recently, you needed a limited amount of electricity. Because, because of decarbonization, you need much more electricity. And typically, the grid connection is unavailable, either because of cost, because of permitting issues, because of uh, land ownership issues. Um, remote power is an established industry, and Cunegy is the growing leader, is the emerging leader in the 1 to 10 kilowatt sector. And it turns out that 1 to 10 kilowatt is actually a large portion of this uh, sector. We've launched our product about three years ago, and we've been growing 300% year over year, year over year, ever, ever since. The technology that we use is called the Sterling Engine. Actually, there's a fascinating story behind the Sterling Engine. The engine was invented about 200 years ago by a Scottish clergyman. And the principle of operations are pretty simple. You have heat in a cavity, you have air in a cavity, you heat it up, it expands, then it cools, then it expands again. If you would attach a magnet to it, in principle, you could produce electricity. The Stirling engine has two unique properties. One, it is fuel agnostic. Essentially, any source of heat can, uh, uh, use, can be used as fuel. I have here a Stirling toy that can be bought off the uh, internet. You put it on a cup of coffee, you prime it a little bit, and then it, uh, and then it turns. It uses the energy of the hot water to create rotation. Essentially, the Stirling engine is fuel agnostic. Any source of heat can create motion, probably more prime, given the fact that it's a toy. The other quality, the other property of the Stirling engine is that it is essentially maintenance free because the engine is sealed, it doesn't need a, a lot of maintenance. To see this, think about the car that you want. You need lubrication, you need oil change. Uh, every so and so miles you need to take care of the car. The Sterling engine is sealed, so it doesn't need all this uh, maintenance. Because of those uh, attractive, attractive uh, uh, qualities of the Sterling engine, being fuel agnostic and maintenance free, many entrepreneurs and companies and investors wanted to develop a sterling based generator throughout the years. But no, no one succeeded until QNG. This is the power gen, the first sterling based power generator. Our success is rooted in two factors. One is the mechanical design. About two years ago, NASA issued a press release saying that this mechanical design is the most reliable design for a heat engine ever invented. The second factor in our success is power electronics. We control the engine, we control its stroke and its outputs using an electronic board that we've developed and we've written the software that controls uh, this board. So the combination of mechanical design and power electronics allows us to develop the power chain. Some of the applications uh, range from conventional remote power applications like um, uh, cathodic protection or automation to things that are less conventional that we've developed like freeze of prevention where we use the, um, en the uh, waste heat of the Stirling engine to prevent pipelines and auxiliary equipment in uh, oil pads from freezing during the winter. We back up solar panels and uh, the most important application is replacing bleeding pneumatic devices, bleeding pneumatic devices that bleed methane with compressed air. This is the fastest growing application that I uh, talk a little bit uh, more about. And this is like in the center of decarbonization. We walk in uh, all weather, uh, minus 40 degrees in Alaska. This picture is taken from a helicopter window. And obviously, if you need a helicopter ride to uh, fix the engine, the return on investment for our customers is almost immediate. Um, ranging to um, a desert installation that went up more than uh, 135 degrees Fahrenheit during the summer.
One of our first units celebrated more than 24,000 hours of maintenance-free operation. To put this number in context, uh, it's equivalent to about 1.3 million miles. If your car would be able to run 1.3 million miles without maintenance, you would be able to drive to the moon and back twice without maintenance, which obviously you can. Uh, in the last few years, we've launched hundreds of systems in North America. All the systems are connected to um, our control software. You can click on any system. These are pictures from my cell phone. We can see all the systems, our customers, our distributors can see the systems that belong to them. This system over here, for example, worked for more than a year without any issue except one. It has a gas supply issue. We picked up the gas supply issue before the customer. We provided the customer with an early alert using our 24 seven man support operation room, uh, which is also part of our reoccurring revenue. So our systems are essentially maintenance free. If something happened, we provide an early alert. One of the features uh, that we've recently added to our um, uh, monitoring software is the ability to monitor airflow, which is a proxy to the methane that we abate. So our systems are controlled and monitored uh, remotely. So back to decarbonization and how decarbonization doubles the power requirement in remote power. If you would run a, a well pad, let's say of eight uh, wells, traditionally, you wouldn't need more than 2000 watts to run your uh, operation. But uh, you would use some of, the power, some of the pressure in the gas pipeline as a source of power. And you would use it to run pneumatic devices, to open and close valves and controls. But every time each co a, controller, a controller uses a state, you emit methane, a very potent greenhouse gas. This is an enormous problem. According to the US EPA, about 35% of the methane-related emissions of the oil and gas inventory is those bleeding pneumatic devices. There's about half a million pneumatic devices in the US that are bleeding uh, methane. Canadian numbers are similar, between 25 to 30% of the industry's emissions are bleeding normal devices. And the solution is straightforward. All you need to do is replace uh, natural gas as a source of power with compressed air. So you need electricity to compress the air. And that's where the power gen comes into play. The power gen, QEnergy's sterling-based solution, is the cheapest and most, more, most efficient source of power that can run those compressors that replace natural gas as source of power with compressed air. This is a, a case study that we've recently run in British Columbia with a third party. We've compared the four possible technologies for replacing methane emission in bleeding devices with compressed air. Uh, on the one hand, you have uh, the uh, relatively reli reliable but very inefficient thermoelectric devices. You have the uh, relatively efficient but hugely unreliable fuel cells. You have uh, micro turbines and you have QNGI. Uh, QNGI costs less than a third of the thermoelectric and fuel cells and about 50% less than the micro turbine. The micro turbine is oversized for this application and therefore its internal emissions are pretty high. That makes QNGI uh, best not only from the financial perspective but also from the greenhouse gas perspective. Some numbers regarding uh, the greenhouse gas emissions the emission reduction potential of this application, replacing nomadic devices with uh, bleeding nomadic devices with compressed air, is enormous. Each unit saves, on average, in this case study, about 325 tons of uh, CO2 equivalent per year. The unit itself emits about 25, so net you have saving of about 300 tons of CO2 equivalent per unit per year. To put this number in, in, in perspective, if you would buy a Tesla car to um, uh, reduce your greenhouse gas emissions, a power gen for the same amount of money is more than a hundred times more climate friendly. It's an enormous contribution. So to summarize, um, 
decarbonization, because of bleeding nomadic devices, doubles the power requirements of uh, uh, in remote power in the one to 10 kilowatt range. Geonergy is, uh, has launched a validated proven solution based on the Sterling engine. And now we're expanding our outreach and we're looking to, for more and more collaboration with leading oil and gas companies. With that, thank you very much. Thank you.